Hey, hey, it's Paige Lene, and welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're subscribed and hello if you're new. Today, I will be showing you guys how I did my eyelashes. Now, my eyelashes here, I have on an extra little lash because I'm about to take pictures, you know, I need it a little more dramatic. But I'm gonna show you guys in the video how to insert the individual eyelashes and then how to take them out. Quick and easy process, I only show one eye, so don't judge me for looking crazy, but we wanna keep it quick and simple. So tune in to the rest of the video if you wanna see how to get this one. Hey guys, I can't remember my face because I have this face mask on, but um, I was getting ready to take out my lashes to put in new ones, so this video has been long requested. Uh, I just want to go ahead and show you guys because I did it on my Instagram last year and so many people were like, you do your own lashes and I never like tell people because then they ask how I do them and then I feel like responsible if they mess up. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my lashes. As you see, they're coming out right now. I've had them in for like two weeks, so they're a little dusty, but um, I'm going to put a new one so you guys can see the process of that. Um, but as far as taking them out, I use a eyelash remover. Um, I don't know who this one is by. I don't even know if that's helping. I just think YouTubers do that. Um, easy and quick solution. And then um, I like use some like wet wipes or even like toilet paper would work. Just something to catch the drip. And then Q-tips, just in case we need those. Um, I think that's it. So when I'm taking out my lashes, honestly, the first thing I do is just like go and see if any of them are loose. And yeah, that just came, those just came right out, that cluster. And you'll see how I put them in, how easy they are to take out. Um, sometimes I use coconut oil. Um, so I'll go in and I'll like try and break up the clusters and the glue with my fingers. And if that's not easy, then I go in and I use the remover. So I don't know if you guys can see underneath, but I'm trying to separate it. I can feel it coming out little by little. It doesn't hurt at all. Let's see if any of these are loose. I hate my lashes not looking like the bomb. So I try and take them out as soon as they start to look like something. So I'm, I'm holding my lashes at the end and I'm drizzling it on the base of where they went into my lashes. So I let that sit on it for a little bit and then like slide right out. Sometimes they can be stubborn for real. I use uh, extra virgin olive oil or like coconut oil actually, that's better. Coconut oil. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna talk in this video or do a voiceover, so my lips aren't matching them. Hey guys, so I ended up speeding up the video and doing a voiceover because I didn't want you guys to watch me do the same thing. So basically just grab your web wipe, you know, allow time for the natural eyelash remover to set into your eyelashes, and then you can gently pull them out when it's time. But that's all you're gonna do until all your eyelashes come out. Use a Q-tip if needed. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and condition your eyelashes and I'll show you guys how I do that. This is my Babe Lash bag. They were kind enough to send me so much stuff, like a lip plumper, mascara, their famous serum and conditioner. And I need to be disciplined and do this so my eyelashes can grow. But anyway, so now that I'm finished with this one, I'll just show you guys this side. Um, the serum is like this. Their stuff is so cute, packaging and all. I think the owner's name is Paige. I'm pretty sure she's the owner. That's the girl who reached out to me. And, you know, we love a page. So um, I just go in and it said to put it on top of your lashes. This, I'm probably getting on my eyelid. Like that. I'm gonna let it dry. And then I'm gonna put the serum on, the conditioner. But their plumper is amazing. It makes my lips look so good. I just have on clear lip gloss right now. But their plumper is great. I use that so much. Their mascara is good too. Like, listen, they didn't pay me for this, but the mascara is so good. Like, you know how you're trying to do your bottom lashes and sometimes like it gets like, you're doing your lashes and then you get a clump? Like, none of that. Like, I like the bristles on it. But um, yeah, that's how you take them out. Super easy. I didn't lose any lashes. 
Like you would feel it if you lost a lash. Like I pulled, I have pulled some out before now. Disclaimer: I probably lost four lashes in the time I've done it over the year and a half. But like literally four lashes. That's it. Four lashes or hundred seventy five dollars set. <laughs> Baby girl, <laughs> save your money. <laughs> Hey guys, excuse the looks, you know, got my hair pink curled up, check out my new TikTok tutorial, um, how I did that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking crazy without any lashes on, but we're gonna fix that. So first, you wanna get any set of lashes that you like, oh, I'm trying to make this focus. Any set of lashes that look good on your eyes. It's all about the lashes that look good on your eyes. So this is my lash, this is Paige Royal Silk right here. That's what you'll catch me wearing. And I just figured out what my lash was. Like, when people ask me, what lashes do you wear? I'm like, I don't know. I literally just buy lashes and put them on. But now I know the exact ones that I like on my eyes for my shape. Um, so I use Royal Silk by Kish, oh, not that list, um, by Kiss Lash Couture. Um, they're the ultimate lash extension, ex oh my God, I cannot talk to that, extension look. Um, and so I like it because it's a thin band and I cut them up and put them underneath my eyes. So, and I think they're $5, or something like that. They literally cost nothing. So, um, I take them out of the package. I always start with my, um, I guess my right eye for whatever reason. So you just wanna be gentle when you're pulling them off the package like you would when you're wearing them separately. And so I just put that in the corner. All right, so. They're broken up by clusters. Excuse my nails, I'm about to go get my nails done after this. But they're broken up into clusters. So I cut them up to buy those sections. But I only do it while I'm doing it so I don't lose them. So I just broke a section off, hold it in my hand, get that extra little glue off. Then with my tweezers, and then my mega hold glue, I go in and I just dab it. Damn it, did I leave this cap? I think I left it to dry, damn it. Okay. Always oh, something. All right, but it's good, just gotta wipe it off. Make sure y'all screw your caps on. Okay, so, just gonna push it open, dab a little glue on it. Okay, and it dries fast, so. Let it kind of get a little sticky, but it, this glue dries way faster than like glue you put on top of your eyelid. So I just go in, I lift my eye up a little bit, and I pop it in. And then I close my tweezers, and then I like push it up against my waterline. And I wait for a little bit, just like a little bit. And then I go and open my tweezers and I squeeze it. I, I mesh it like a sandwich. So I just open it. And um, disclaimer, I guess you should already do this, but make sure your eyelashes are clean before you uh, put these new ones on. I got a little blue from yesterday, but when you close your eyes, you're gonna be seeing your eyelashes. So make sure your eyelashes are clean and pretty. Okay, that was as simple as that. So go in, clip, three steps, I guess, clip. Glue, put it on. I'm so fast with this. Like, I'll be getting ready to go somewhere and be like, let me put in my extensions. Glue, lift, and put it right next to it. Oh, hold on. More go. And you're not gonna be perfect at it the first time. I had people that like DM me and was like, I can't get it. But be careful, please, because this is your eye. Sometimes the glue can get stuck on your tweezers and then it will like, won't push the eyelash on. So make sure like your tweezers are clean too. That's why you see me going like this. And then I squeeze it. And you wanna put the eyelashes right next to each other. Pretend they're neighbors with no lines. Cause you want it to look exactly how it looks on this band, so. Okay guys, so once again, I sped up the video and then I did a voiceover because I am doing the same exact thing cutting up the eyelashes, adding glue, and then sliding it right next to its neighboring eyelash. So you see me fanning my eye because it was open so wide, but um, I will show you guys what my eyelashes look like completely both together once I finish. Here's the final look. 
Hopefully this tutorial taught you guys how to print individual lashes and how to take them out safely. If you like this tutorial, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe, and leave suggestions for the next video below. Bye, much love.